Is this your home store? Yes, this is my home store. Okay, and you're here a lot? Yeah, I'm also here, and I also do the pickup a lot, too. You do? Yes, okay. when I'm running, so. We're here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. This is store number 715. You can tell by the store number, this store has been with the company a long time, so there are a lot of great people here doing great things. But we want to walk you through today and show you the things we've done to make the store safe to shop, but also a safe place to work. We're using the entrance at our automotive care center. For associates to enter in the morning, we were able to let them enter one at a time, and then as soon as we get them in the building, we do a temp check and some other things. And then outside the store, we're sanitizing all the cards. This is Vincent. You can see Vincent's in a mask and gloves, and he's got a sanitation spray that we're putting on the cards before they come into the store to make sure they're ready for you when you shop. You just gotta keep everybody fed, right? Yes, you got to. <laughs> I hope y'all got some meat on the counter. <laughs> there is. I just saw it. Okay, you have a good day. The first change that I want to talk about that we made is we're closing the stores every night. We're open from 7 in the morning until 8.30 at night. This is previously a 24-hour store. But we did that to give our associates time to rest and recover, but also to get the store stocked, clean and sanitized before we open in the morning. The second thing is when you do come shop, only bring the people that you need to bring with you. The less people that come in, it's easier to manage crowds for us and also can give plenty of people a chance in the store to stay socially distanced. And then finally, we've divided the entrance and the exit to make sure we keep distance between customers. So let's go ahead and go in and I'll show you what we're doing. We've got X's on the ground to help people know how far apart they need to be to stay separated. This is Kelvin, and Kelvin's managing the crowd on the way in. They're just inside the store. You'll see we're counting the number of people coming in to ensure that within the space that's in the store, there's plenty of room for us to be able to spread out and stay socially distanced. So let's go in and take a look. And then when you're in the store, we do have wipes available for all the carts. This way you can grab one of these and clean the handle off before you get shopping. Now what you can see in the store is the food supply is in really good shape. Our teams in the distribution centers, our suppliers, our store associates have done a fantastic job keeping stores in stock throughout the last couple months. As you take a look around, you'll see there's plenty of produce, plenty of meat, groceries in great shape. So there's a lot to buy. Let's get on into the store. Okay, and a couple other things you'll see here are the directional arrows. We're trying to separate the aisles to maintain traffic flow in one direction. So when you're in the store shopping, we just ask that you please follow the direction of the traffic. That way we can keep people separated as you shop. Now over in the pharmacy, you'll see that it looks like it does out front of the store. We've got ropes and stanchions and dividers to keep people moving in one direction and out the other. We've got markers on the floor so that you know when you're six feet apart and maintain social distancing. And then finally, we've got plexiglass dividers that keep our pharmacists and our techs separated from customers so that both parties can have a safe experience when shopping at the Walmart pharmacy. So a couple other things that you'll see are different. When you're at the checkouts, you'll see on the floor some blue signs that say, please keep at least six feet apart. If you'll stay on one of those signs when in line, That'll just about guarantee that you'll be at least six feet apart from other customers. And when you get in the line, you'll see that there are plexiglass shields to separate the cashiers from the customers for their protection. And then finally, we've enabled Walmart Pay on our self-checkouts and on our registers to make sure that you can pay on the app without having to make contact with the screen. Yes, ma'am, how are you? I'm good, how about you? Good. You can use Walmart Pay right off the screen, just as you're checking out items. That way there's no contact at all with the register. Our transaction's finalized, so we're ready to go. And I also wanna remind you that if you don't wanna shop in the store, there are other ways you can shop with us at Walmart, like pickup. You can order online and pick up at the store. And as of yesterday, we added the seventh day of visibility back, so you can see slots now for seven days, which is more slots than we had available before this whole thing started. And in the mornings, we've added an hour from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., and that hour is reserved in pickup slots for senior citizens, other people who may be compromised with their health in some way, and for healthcare workers and public servants. Let's keep that hour open for them. Walmart do look out for our safety first, and we're able to still get a chance to supply the demand that we need for our families at home. 